In this video, I want to show you how we can use logarithmic differentiation to derive the quotient rule that we see in calculus to find the derivative of a function that is composed of, well, two other functions that are being divided by one another. So we're going to start with this equation y equals f of x divided by g of x. And I also have this derivative rule over here for the natural log that we're going to employ as well. So for this logarithmic differentiation, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take the natural log of both sides of this equation. And I'll be doing this so instead of having a quotient or instead of having the division of two functions, I'm actually going to write them as the subtraction of two distinct terms. So let's go ahead and see what that might look like. So the natural log of y equals the natural log of, and then of course we have this quotient here, this f of x divided by g of x. So at this point, I can use a property for logs, which says that if I have the quotient inside of one a log like this, I can go ahead and expand that as the subtraction or the difference of two distinct logs. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have the natural log of y equals the natural log of f of x minus the natural log of g of x. Okay, so this is really nice because now I have three very distinct terms, all of which are natural logs. So if the next step is to go ahead and differentiate both sides of this equation, I can do so by using this log rule, which says the derivative of the natural log of some function u is going to be u prime over u. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this three times. Once here, so y prime over y once here, so f of x, or f prime of x over f of x, and then once here for g prime of x over g of x. Okay, so this is the equation that we have as it stands, but we're really trying to solve for this y prime or this dy dx so I can have a general rule for the quotient of two functions. Well, on this right side, for this expression, let's go ahead and start by getting common denominators. And so I'll have my y prime over y equals, and it looks like that common denominator is just going to be those two rascals multiplied together. And so let's go through and fix these numerators, because remember, whatever we do to the bottom, I need to also do to the top of these fractions. So this one was multiplied by the g of x, so let's go ahead and do it to him as well. So f prime of x times g of x minus, and the same thing here, so we'll have f of x times g prime of x. And all of that, of course, is over that common denominator. So if we're trying to solve for this y prime, it looks like I need to go ahead and multiply both sides of the equation by y. And in this case, on the left side, the y's will cancel, and y prime is all by itself. But now I need to contend with this right side. So remember what this y was back from our original equation. This y was f of x divided by g of x. So let's go ahead and replace this y with f of x divided by g of x. Okay, so what's going to happen now? And maybe you're already seeing how this is going to come out. So the f of x here and here will cancel, and I'll multiply these g of x's together. So what I'm going to have is f prime of x times g of x minus f of x times g prime of x all over... And it looks like here we have this g of x that's being squared. So right here is going to be our quotient rule to find the derivative of a function that is comprised of, of course, the quotient of two other functions. And remember, if you have this rule memorized already, or maybe you've already been exposed to it, it's uh, low d high. So of course, I'll give names to these. So we're calling the low the function in the denominator, and we're calling the high, or gh there, the um, function in the numerator. So it's going to be low d high. So here's the low times the derivative of the high 
minus high times the derivative of the low all over low squared. So perhaps you memorized it that way already. But here's where this comes from, is starting with this equation, y equals f of x divided by g of x. And we just went ahead and used logarithmic differentiation on this and derived the quotient rule for derivatives here in calculus.